What's going on, y'all? It's Cop Pizzle. Dave, get him, and you beautiful son of a bitch. Oh, you beautiful son of a bitch. I am, I'm loving me some Dave Gettleman right now. I really am, because Dave, you could have traded. You could have traded Olivier Vernon for a ham sandwich. You could have traded him for a big old bowl of popcorn for all Pizzle cared. And you, and you went out and got a starting guard. I love you, Davey! I love what Dave Gettleman is doing, because Dave Gettleman, if you can't if you, if you don't know it by now, I'll tell you. Dave Gettleman is taking you back to 2007. Dave Gettleman is restoring a prideful franchise and taking us back to where we belong and absolutely rebuilding this thing in the correct way. I love what Dave is doing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this. I'm going to say something very bold. And I'm going to say something that, you know, may come back to bite me, but I'm willing to say it because I got to read on this New York Giants team. I am seeing the ball. I'm like a, I'm like a major league base. I mean, I'm just sitting in the box and I'm reading everything that I'm seeing about this. And I'm just, I'm everything that's, everything that I think is going to happen, it's happening. I mean, I'm just seeing the ball so good right now. I am literally, like I said the other day, I'm like Barry Bonds. I'm juiced to the gills. I'm feeling good. I'm seeing the ball well. We're getting ready to send this son of a bitch 500 feet and pump it all the way to first base because that's the way I'm seeing it right now. Dave Gettleman went out and did exactly so far this offseason what I said that the Giants needed to do. Lenny Collins can't cover anybody. He's got to go. He went. Dave Gettleman realizes that we still need a little bit improvement on the offensive line. What does he do? Goes out and gets a starting guard. Goes out and gets a start. Tomorrow when the sun comes up, the New York Giants offensive line is better right out of the gate. Right out of the gate. Then he goes out and gets rid of the sorry-ass Olivier Vernon, which, which was a joke, a disaster. Because why? There's no pass rush, and we're paying him a bazillion dollars to do absolutely nothing. I love you, Davey. Uh, Davey, I love, I love me some Dave Gettleman. You keep, you keep being like a boxer, Dave, because all these haters just keep coming at you. All these haters keep calling you a clip, and I just want you to sit and just move, move, and then slip the jab, slip the jab, Davey. You keep doing you. Listen to me. I, I, I'm gonna say some, I'm gonna say some wild shit here. If you think you can li look, you can be one of these, you can be a sheep. And listen to these so-called expert blue check markers on Twitter. You can listen to all these idiots on TV, NFL Network, whatever. If you think the New York Giants, after letting Landon Collins walk, after trading away Olivier Vernon, if you think the Giants are going to draft a quarterback at six, and you're a Giants fan, you need to you need to stop watching New York Giants football and find somebody else to root for because this you you don't understand the organization. You don't get it. Now I'm going to be the first to tell you if the Giants take a quarterback at six, I I I need to stop watching Giants football. I, I, my days of watching Giants football are over because I, I don't I don't clearly understand the team I don't know the team but if you but if you think that the Giants after trading away so called two key defenders are not going to draft a a, a a a stud defensive player at six you're crazy you're absolutely crazy the Giants are completely changing what Dave Gettleman is doing is completely changing the identity of our defense. And we don't have a leader right now. Well, guess what? We're about to draft one. We're getting ready to draft one at six. You can keep picking your nose, your boogers, whatever. Keep doing whatever you want to. Keep keep thinking that you're smarter than the next guy in the room thinking that they're going to draft Haskins. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Eli Manning is the quarterback in 2019, people. We will reassess this in the offseason season. After 2019, we will reassess what we want to do, okay? The focus here, for all you out there that don't understand or keep getting the this, this scenario wrong here is we're working on the offensive line, which we just we just completed pretty much. Welcome to the, welcome to the finally, what the hell we're doing here. And we're going to completely revamp the defense, like completely fix it. We're not worried about the quarterback position. We're, we're not. We're completely fixing the defense, okay? You can, can you can think that we're going to give up our second-round pick for Josh Rosen also, too. Hey, 
We're working on defense here. Get with the cl- get with get 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 an idea of what the hell we're doing here. Get on board before it's too late, people. Okay? Get on board before it's too late. Pizzle hates to talk to you this way, but Pizzle is just seeing it so well. Seeing it so damn well. Defense is completely being revamped. Completely. Okay? Are we with are you are you with Pizzle now? Because Dave Gettleman is showing you clues. He's giving you these little clues, okay? Don't be the last one on the train when the train or, or getting ready to board the train and the train's done taken t- took off. You know what I'm saying? The train's leaving the station. Have, have, have you got on board yet? Because we're completely rebuilding the defense in this draft. We're not doing. We're not working on offense in this draft, people. We're working on defense here. Okay. Thanks.